Hi, my name is Glenn Martinez. I'm with Ola Mana Gardens. And what I want to share with you today is a system that we've been able to ship all around the world. This is your fish tank. It holds 180 gallons of water. It has filters on the inside for the water coming in and the water going out. The water coming out comes out here, comes along here, has a check valve. Air comes in here. It will pump the water from the fish tank up to here. It will fall up and go down. The water will then be distributed along this bar here into the cinder beds. The cinder beds are double tray. One tray sits over the other. There are small pieces of pipe in between them, or little squares, and you set them and you put 20 gallons of cinder. Make sure you wash your cinder before you put it in. The top tray has lots and lots of holes, quarter inch holes, and the water will drain down to the lower one, which only has one hole. Those holes are gathered together, one, two, three, all into one pipe that comes over to here. When we ship this to you, nothing is glued together. You just tap together rubber mallet, you can test run it. When you're sure everything's good, drain the water and glue everything together. This height here is set to be right at the top of this pipe, is right here on this tray here. So when this tray fills up with water, this sensor pipe, this pipe goes to the ground, comes over, and it's connected to the bottom of this tray. By doing that, this piece of pipe always reflects the level of the water in this tray. And this is the air break. So the way it works is the water's gonna fill up to here, come over here, go down, and be distributed to your float beds. When this water drains all the way down in here, this piece of pipe goes to about here, just the bottom of this. These will be drained drip dry. Now, when the water comes here, it goes here, it goes into one, two, three of them, each one of them, and we have grow beds on them. And they can be three inch holes, or if you want more plants, if you're doing smaller plants, you do the two inch holes, your choice. You can have 20 of the big holes or 40 of the little holes. These will be your two inch net pots. On the top inside of there, and each of the drains, there's a high low. And you adjust this such that the water drains down just before the next cycle starts. It's a pretty straightforward system. The construction is such that we use two two by eights. This two by eight is laid on its flat and takes half the brick. That two eight is screwed up with four or five inch screws into here, and that gives you the strength and the support. The advantage of this is you can come along and remove this last board here on the end, and you can add on two more boards, and just with three bricks, go up again. And so you could extend this on out. Now you have a 180 gallon fish tank. The beauty of this system is with the 180 gallon fish tank, you can have 180 square feet of garden. With 180 square feet of garden, these trays are two by three feet. So two by three feet, that's six square feet. Six goes into 180 30 times. That means you have 30 of these trays. 30 of these trays with 40 plants on each of, each of them is what? 30 times 40, 1,200 plants. That will feed a lot of people, okay? On your cinder, we start you off with three trays. You could have up to nine trays. That's nine, they're 20 gallons each. So 20 times nine is 180 gallons. So in your fish tank, you have one fish for three gallons of water. So to say it another way, you got a 180 gallon fish tank, 180 gallons equals not, you have divide by three, you can have 60 fish in there. That's a fish you can eat every week for the rest of your life. You can have nine of these cinder bed trays, 20 gallons each. Okay, that's a lot of growing space. Then you can have 30 of these float beds coming out. That's a total of 39 trays. And round number, let's call it 40. Three times 40 is 120 long, foot long garden. That would wrap around your backyard, go down 30 feet, go across 60 feet, and come up 30 feet. Now you'd only lose two feet of your backyard all the way around, and you'd be growing an awesome amount of food. Anyway, hope you enjoy your system. Be flexible. Don't glue anything together until you see it run and do it good. Thank you.